Good morning and welcome to or back to my channel. It's currently 10.30 in the morning. I wanted to have you guys come with me and just spend the morning with me. A lot of you guys have been asking for my skincare routine, so I'm gonna show you guys what I do in the morning. Basically, my night routine is the same as my morning skincare routine. And then I have a few errands to run today, but they're kind of fun. I'm going to the mall with my mom because her birthday's tomorrow, so I'm gonna buy her present today. Yeah, okay, let's fix this. So the first thing I do is just wash my hands and put my contacts in. and I'm crying. Okay, hair is out of faith. So the first thing I use, e.l.f. exfoliating scrub, and it has vitamin E in it. E. You really don't need a lot. Like, what I like about it is how gentle of an exfoliator it is. I probably exfoliate my face maybe three times a week. I don't really want to be too rough with my skin. My problem areas with acne are like, here and my chin. I do have hormonal acne. So I don't really break out that much. It's mostly around when I have my period. <laughs> and I'll usually just get like one or something like that. Yeah, they pop up a lot. That's that's the problem. So I'm not gonna dry my face um, just because I'm gonna put something else on it. And it is by The Ordinary. I think I mentioned this in one of my first videos. It's the vitamin C suspension. Um, what this basically does, vitamin C helps with like acne scars, which I'm struggling with a lot right now. Because during quarantine, guys, like my acne, hello, my acne was ridiculous. Because I was off a sleep schedule, I wasn't really eating properly. It got really bad and like, of course, I picked at them because why wouldn't you pop them? So I got all these scars and so now I just gotta deal with the aftermath. So just a little bit <laughs> like that. and. I mostly put it on my problem areas. I'll do a little bit all over my face, but mostly, mostly focus on this area down here. Obviously, the skincare routine isn't for everybody. Everybody has different skin, reacts differently to different products. So this is just what I found is best for my skin. I do recommend, obviously, The Ordinary for anybody. It is a very, very popular brand. It's super cheap. I just do want to put that out there that everybody is different, and that is totally okay. So now that we have it on, um, what I'm going to do next is actually use my African black soap and just literally wash it off. I kind of just rub it in, let it sit for a little bit, and then just rinse your face. I will say though that um, all these products that I've shown you make your face so soft. Sometimes when you use products, I notice it feels patchy, like patches of dry. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced that. But I'm very, very big on how <laughs> my skin feels. I've been doing skincare since like freshman year of high school, which was seven years ago. <laughs> So I've been doing it for a while and obviously I had to go through different products, figure out what I liked. My lips are like purple or something. Do you see that? Next, I'm actually gonna put on some witch hazel just to make sure everything's even. I'm a little hesitant about witch hazel just because one time I was using it and it just made my skin completely dry. That plus the salicylic acid, it completely dried out my skin. So I stayed away from this for a while, but I've been slowly like getting back to it because it does really make a difference. So I just have a little cotton ball. You don't really need that much. Also, I've noticed when I use this, like, <laughs> anyways, when I use this, like you realize how much stuff you're like getting, like it's still on your face, if that makes sense. I just really want to make sure I cover like everything just because I'm OCD about that kind of stuff. Okay. I will say that this one doesn't smell the best. It's the Dickinson brand. I know other YouTubers have used this brand. There's also that like fire it has like cucumber roast and like all that. But I know you shouldn't really use products that have a lot of fragrance on your face. So I just went with this brand because it was honestly a lot cheaper and it is just completely like just pure witch hazel. If you don't <laughs> mind the smell, it's not overbearing, but it's just not like sweet. <laughs> if someone walked in my room, they'd be like. And then 
then lastly, I'm going to be using my moisturizer, which it's the same ingredients as Cetaphil. It's just a lot cheaper and it's just a CVS brand. It's like Yassi compared to Cetaphil. Before I was using the Clean and Clear moisturizer, it's like a white bottle with a purple pump. It was so thin. You needed a lot to just cover your whole face. Compared to this, like you, you do not need a lot. So the consistency of it's really nice. You literally just need that much. But I was using that Clean and Clear one since freshman year of high school. It was during quarantine and I like just did not have enough money for it because I think it's like eight or nine dollars. Compared to this one's like maybe five or six. I was so used to mine. Like smells are a big thing for me on my body. I just don't like smells I'm not used to, I guess. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try this one because I've heard so many good things about it. I was like, I'm just gonna give it a go. And I've had this moisturizer since March and it's like not even half empty. So that's my whole morning skincare routine. It's honestly the same thing at night. The only difference is um, I do put on the Mario Badescu spot treatment. That's the only difference. Otherwise, everything else is the same. If you guys saw my Instagram story, then you would know about this shelf. If you haven't seen my Instagram, then this shelf is from Home Goods, and it's just so freaking cute. I love it. It makes things so much easier because I didn't have a lot of storage in my bathroom to begin with. So now we're just gonna kind of lounge around for a little bit, get something in our stomach because I'm really bad with eating. But before we can do all that, we need to make the bed. That's lambkins, everyone. So now that I have my coffee, I'm just gonna go upstairs and no, I should probably eat something. I'm not a big breakfast person. I don't really like breakfast foods and I don't like eating in the morning. That's so bad. Okay, so I've been waiting to show you guys this because I don't know, I think it's so cool. My house kind of like splits, it, like two stairs. So one goes down, one goes up. So the upstairs is mine. This is my living room and my bedroom's right through there. Um, I'll give you guys a tour one day, like more in detail. Here's like my desk area and like some storage and stuff. That's the front door. I need to clean it a bit, but that's about it. My bedroom, my own bath over there where we got ready and stuff. So let's watch some TV and drink our coffee. Okay, what should we watch? Last night, actually, I was binging Rain. Has anyone seen that? Yes, Queen Mary. Let's go. Guys, comment some shows or movies that I should watch on Netflix below. Like, I really want to start watching new shows. Fun fact, I've never seen The Office before. <laughs> um, he's showing it to me. We're on season six. I don't want to spoil anything in case, like, anybody hasn't seen it, but I'm going to just say the last episode we saw was uh, Scott's Tots. Grey's Anatomy, of course, love Grey's Anatomy. I haven't seen any of season 16 yet. I rewatch that sometimes, guys. I rewatched Derek's accident the other day because I felt like crying. Do you guys ever do that? Like, do you watch something to make yourself cry? Is that healthy? <laughs> okay, guys, we're back in the bathroom and I think, hello, that's where, that's where it wants to part. I just let it, I don't argue. I'm thinking I might, straighten my hair today. I don't usually use heat on my hair, but I'm kind of feeling it today. I don't know, it might be like a little different. I try to refrain from using heat on my hair just because there is bleach under this brown color and I just don't want to cause more damage than it's like already done. Should I do it? I shouldn't do it. I'm gonna do it, aren't I? Let's brush it out first and see where we are. So just quickly, I just wanted to go over this with you guys. I don't blow dry my hair just because it, it gets so poofy. It just takes like 45 minutes to completely dry it. So I usually just towel dry and then let it air dry. But I found this, it's the Smooth Air Dry Anti-Freeze. Anti-Freeze? Anti-Frizz Cream. And when it's wet, just put this over it and it controls the frizz so, so much. This is my day after hair. It kind of like has this like weird wavy texture naturally. I put that on after I shower. And then the next morning I try to put in some kind of oil or something. I have this leave-in spray, it's Argon Magic. It's a 10 in one treatment. I think, yeah, they got commercials. <laughs> I'm just gonna brush my hair and put this in and kind of see where it's at. Are you guys ready for this? You ready to hear my hair? Yes. So I skipped from brushing my hair because I didn't want you guys to suffer with me through that. It's all brushed, we good now. Just gonna add in that Argon. Oil. Oh my gosh, it just spilled everywhere. So apparently like the little 
thing isn't working, so I'm just putting it in my hands. I don't want too, too much because obviously you don't want your hair oily and stuff. I mostly stick to just like the ends because that's where obviously it's the most dry and dead. So I'm just putting that as such. Wow, it, do you see that difference though? My hairdresser told me a few months back that your reason your hair frizzes is because it's looking for moisture in the air because it's not in your hair. So that's why it goes whoop. And I was like, I didn't know that. And my hands are all like all <laughs> like oily and stuff. So now we're gonna brush through it. Hopefully it doesn't make disgusting noises. That was a lot better. Wow. Well, I think I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Sometimes if I just want my natural hair to be more defined, I'll just put my hair in a braid and like, since it's still damp plus that argon oil, it will hold that shape, if that makes sense. Okay, so we got a little braid going on here, super cute. Um, that's my hair care and my skincare routine. Since we're just going to the mall, I'm not gonna wear too much makeup. I'm honestly just gonna put on some mascara and do my eyebrows. As you guys know, I don't really like wearing makeup unless it's actually for something. So I am using the Lash Paradise. I've heard so, so many things about this and I've never actually tried it. Sorry, I'm looking again at the mirror behind. <laughs> Look at that. That's freaking crazy i was using the elf one before it would clump like really quickly this is insane it looks like i'm wearing fake eyelashes wow it was between this one or the bambi eye one i've heard a lot about that as well and it's newer i think that just kind of came out i literally went on pinterest uh while i was in the middle of target looking up like best drugstore mascaras and this was the top one on like every list the bambi one was on every list too but this was like number one, so it's like I have to, have to try it. I go up and out. Eyebrows are so personal. Like everyone does them like the same, but slightly different. This top part, <laughs> I brush down a bit. So I always start here in the corner. I'm just gonna use this for now. Sorry if I'm not looking at the camera. Always, always when you're doing your eyebrows, be very, very light. Kind of sound like a baker, right? <laughs> Eyebrows is such a freaking art. I definitely feel like the shape of the other one is a lot better. <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you like favor one eyebrow over the other? Do we like it? Honestly, that's pretty good. Sometimes I will use the e.l.f. brow gel. I don't know really if you like doing this today. You know what I will do though? This little um, blush stick basically. Like I like the color. The only thing is it does have like a lot of sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can really see. There it is. It's very, very pigmented. Really, don't put a lot on, see, like. So I kind of put it like up there. So then I'll put some on my nose. And then I use this brush. And then I just kind of blend it like so. And I do put it on my cheekbone. I kind of connect it like that. It just adds like a little bit of shimmer, glow. I think it looks really natural and cute. So yeah, this is the final makeup look. Let's go just find a casual outfit. Some plain ones and now we need to find a top. Let's just go with like a gray tank top. Okay, so I'm just wearing the boyfriend shorts that I got at Old Navy and then just tucked in the tank top and I'm just gonna wear my white shoes probably. Let's go to the mall. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Click that bell icon below to see when I post. Please subscribe, put all my socials below for you and I will see you guys next time. Bye.